do anything. So Jan Reynolds, you've, you've done all these books on vanishing cultures. Um, is, there, is there a chance for these cultures with the pressures of the West, or are we losing them? And in, in what ways might they be sustaining? Well, one thing that you can always do when you're shopping, um, make sure whatever you buy, whether it's coffee or chocolate, that it's fair trade. You know then the local indigenous population is being given a fair wage for the job that they're doing. So that can be helpful. Because a lot of this is economic. A lot of this is economic. It's largely uh, driven by economics. Uh, their environments where these indigenous people live are being uh, dismantled, especially in the Amazon rainforest. Mm. Uh, so it's very difficult for them to live traditionally, but you can support their lives now by buying whatever is fair trade. Now, the, the Inuit and um, the folks in Finland and Laplands, are, are some of these places being recognized so there is some effort to keep them? Or even there the certainly outback? is. And in Europe, uh, for Lapland, um, called Samilan, where the, the Samis live up in the Arctic Circle uh, and herd the reindeer, the uh, Scandinavian governments actually help support the indigenous population so that they can still herd their reindeer. And the money also comes back to the um, Scandinavian governments because um, they pay their taxes and they are tour guides. You could actually go up there and ride in a sleigh pulled by reindeer, sleep in a lavu, eat reindeer stew, pick cloudberries. Mm. So traditions are being saved. But to actually live the life full time as an indigenous tribe isn't economically feasible. Hmm. It, and if you try to keep a tribe that way, it's almost not fair. It's like putting them under glass saying, well, we'll live this way and we'll have these things in our lives, but you have to stay that right. way. So it's a very delicate and complicated issue. They need to be able to interact with the outside world and have what they'd like to have in their lives, but we can aid and embed them to save their languages, which is key. Which is, yeah, a lot languages, of languages Languages, traditions, uh, food culture, by supporting them with fair trade. And, and what about, so in the, in the Sahara, in Nepal, in uh, the aboriginals of the outback, same, same thing, same pretty thing. much? It's the same thing. You see we are a human family. You see they're living the same way. The environment around them might be a little bit different, but they're, we're all the same. And did they welcome you? How did, I, mean, I, your, I think your, your they your did smile, because your, I'm such yeah. an oddity. Plus, I'm a female. I think if I'd <clears throat> been a big guy with a, a mm. beard and a heavy voice, you know, the women might not have felt as comfortable with me. The men might have felt threatened. And I'm just kind of this goofy female that does everything wrong. They've got to show me how to do this or that or how to skin that Sneakers reindeer. In the yeah. Sahara. <laughs> right, right. So I'm entertainment. <laughs> we love it and we love your books. Thank you so much, Dan. Well, thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure.